Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm here to tell you a bit more about the Brompton Electric and the different options you have when choosing your bike. First up, let's do a quick run through of the bike itself. It's a 250 watt front wheel motor and working with Williams, Brompton have really created a compact, lightweight, but powerful front wheel motor. This is powered by the battery, which is in the bag and clips onto the front here like this. It's a 300 watt hour lithium ion battery, allowing a range of 20 to 45 miles depending on riding conditions and mode. There's also some smart features like this USB port. That means you can keep your phone charged on the go. And there's automatic lighting, meaning you never have to think about turning lights on or off. For riding, there are three power modes, changed like this from one to three. As you pedal and start working harder, say going up a hill or into a headwind, the bottom bracket torque and cadence sensor tells the system to give you more assistance, making cycling a breeze wherever you go. When I've ridden it, I've certainly found myself wanting to cover longer distances and still arriving fresh because it's so easy. The Bluetooth connected app helps keep track of your speed, distance and service reminders. This is an excellent bike, even without the battery power. If you end up on an extended journey and run out of juice, it performs just like a regular Brompton and is still easy and fun to ride. Let's get on to the options. First up, there's two handlebar types, the M type and the H type. The M is the lower one and the H is the higher one. The one you'll choose will depend on two things, your height and your preferred riding style. The M type is Brompton's most popular handlebar, but if you're a little bit taller or prefer a more upright ride with a straighter back, the H type will be for you. Next up, gearing options, two or six speed. It might be tempting to always go for the higher number, but the two speed is more than half a kilo lighter. And with the electric support, unless you live in the hilliest of cities, two gears is all you'll need. If you're unsure about which suits you, nothing beats a trial at your local electric store. Then color. There's two choices and it's down to you, glossy black or white. Finally, there's a choice of bags. The bike comes with this essential bag, which incorporates the battery as standard, and there's enough space in the pockets for your wallet, keys, and a few other bits and bobs, including the charger itself. If you need something a bit more, there's the 20 liter city bag, big enough to fit a laptop, water bottle, your charger, and some spare clothes. Let's talk about total weight. This bike, the two-speed, weighs 13.4 kilograms and the battery is 2.8 kilograms. And the ability to unclip it and put it over your shoulder is really useful. As far as the bike goes, these roller wheels mean it's easy to tow along the platform or at the supermarket. The only time I actually ever carry the bike is going up or down stairs. Once you've made your choice, either head to the Brompton Builder or your local store, make your purchase and get ready to ride.